Anderson Cooper, AC360, CNN Weeknights, 10 Eastern. South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker did a pair of episodes which make fun of celebrities but also happen to feature Jesus, Moses, Buddha, and the prophet Muhammad. They didn't even show Muhammad. They, they weren't allowed to by their network. He was disguised in a bear suit. A radical Muslim website put up what they called a warning to Parker and Stone, saying that they would probably end up like Theo van Gogh, a Dutch filmmaker who was butchered by a radical Islamist. The webpage included a photo of Theo van Gogh's murder. He was killed after making a movie called Submission about Islam, written by my next guest, Ayan Hirsi Ali, who has had to live in, with protection ever since. Thanks very much for joining us, Ayan. Um, thank you, Anderson. Thank you for having me. And I just have to make one correction, which was I had protection before I made Submission, and Theo van Gogh did not. And that's why he ended up dead, and I'm still alive. This radical group says that this is not a threat against the, the people behind South Park, but a warning about what will probably happen to them. They also, on their website, provide information about where these two live, a link to a sermon by a wanted cleric about the punishment for blasphemy. Do you think this is a threat? This is clearly a threat. The fact that they have looked for their addresses, found them, put them up, you know, uh, on the air for any radical jihadist to go and, you know, claim martyrdom, that is all part of a threat. And that's exactly the process before Theo van Gogh was killed after we made the film. Um, there were lots of radical groups sharing his movements, his address, um, his pictures, and lots of threats coming in to my uh, email and also to him. And, uh, so, and so when people say, well, look, this is just some obscure website, you know, a bunch of street corner preachers in New York, uh, they don't really amount to much, you say that doesn't matter. Well, the killer of Theo van Gogh, uh, Mohamed Bouyeri, was considered a marginal figure, and his name did not even emerge until after Theo was killed. And after Theo's death, we realized, in fact, the Secret Service announced that he was the leader of the Hofstadt group, the group that they now uh, put a lot of attention, and most of them are in jail right now. But that was, it started out with, uh, it's a small group, insignificant, radical, marginal, so on and so forth. But they were not marginal. Uh, it's their group leader who followed, surveilled Theo as he went from his house to his work on a daily basis until he found a moment that he could attack. The, the chilling effect something like this has, I mean, I think cannot be overestimated. We've already seen the Met Museum in New York uh, reportedly is not going to show any portrayals of Muhammad in their Islamic art exhibition. Um, and I want to show you some stills from South Park where I guess the network didn't even allow them to, to show Muhammad or a portrayal, a cartoon version, so they had him disguised in a bear suit. I mean, why does it outrage this group so much to have any portrayal, or even in a bear, bear costume? Well, because I grew up as a Muslim, and growing up as a Muslim, I learned you don't criticize Allah, the Quran, or the Prophet Muhammad, and you should you know, participate in condemning and eventually killing anybody who does. So that is just what the religion tells us. That's what scripture tells us. There are some people who want to act on it and there are some people who don't. The majority of Muslims do not want to act on the scripture, but they are silent when fellow Muslims do. And uh, but I mean, like in South Park, uh, I mean, this cartoon, well, you know, whether you like South Park or not, I mean, they show Buddha snorting cocaine. You don't see death threats or, or warnings from Buddhists. And you don't see death threats from Jews when Moses is depicted in an unbecoming position, and you don't see threats from Christians when Jesus Christ is made, you know, is put in a satire position. So it is only, and, and this is the strong thing. The South Park episode of last weekend was not just funny and it wasn't just witty, it was also, it addressed an essential piece in the times that we are living. There is one group of people, one religion that is claiming to be above criticism. And I hope that in, in the aftermath of this, that we discuss that. When Theo van Gogh and I made submission, we wanted to address the position of women in Islam and what the Quran said about Islam, or what the Quran said about women. Instead, we ended up in a discussion about, you know, are Muslims more vulnerable or not? Shall we talk about protection? Can they be offended or not, it's, it, it became a side discussion. And I hope that now we can, in the, in the United States of America, say the freedom of expression, the first amendment, that is our, that is the first fundament and most fundamental basis of our society. I, I want to play a video.
of something they said about uh, doing this ep episode, about the 200th episode. Are you afraid that if the network allows you to unveil the Prophet Muhammad, that you will be bombed? We don't want, we'd be so hypocritical against our own mess, our own thoughts if we said, okay, well, let's not make fun of them because they might hurt us. Like, that's, that's messed up to have that kind of thought process, you know. Okay, well, we'll rip on the Catholics because they won't hurt us, but we won't rip on them because they might hurt us. Like, and so your message tonight, the importance of this is, is what? It is an assault on the freedom of expression. And we have to defend it tooth and nail. That means we all stand by Mr. Stone and Mr. Parker. Do, do you still live with guards? I mean, do you still have protection all around you? I have protection, but there comes a time when if not just Mr. Parker and Mr. Stone, but if the entertainment business were to take this on and just show how ridiculous this is, that there'll be too many people to threaten. And then I think at that time I won't need protection. And um, the gentleman who made South Park will also need, not need protection. But it is, it is something as a community and as a society we have to take them on. And that means, I think, um, scrutinizing Islam, criticizing it in the same way that we criticize Christianity, Judaism, and other ideologies and other religions. Yeah. Equal opportunity, um, you know, scrutiny, equal opportunity offense. And in this case, equal opportunity comedy. Uh, Ayan Hirsi Ali, I appreciate you being with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, as always, you can learn a lot more online at ac360.com, where tonight you'll find a link to Ayan Hirsi Ali's foundation, which fights for separation of mosque and state, especially when it comes to women's rights.